Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video today and today I will be doing a history video of this painting that my grandfather in America um, painted um, years ago um, and this painting here has a very proud um, history um, right here so here's my brother, cousin, and myself at the beach, um, and in a few minutes time, um, I will pass over to my grandfather, um, on his, uh, voice, and he will explain in a bit more of detail, and I hope it's a big success, and this tie that I have on Today, my uh, grandfather and my grandmother, they uh, generously gave me this Brooks Brothers tie um, that was proudly made in New York. And I, it's an honor to be wearing this tie today. So uh, let's get into this video. This is a narrative painting, that is to say, it was intended, the painting itself is intended to tell a story. And the story is the most obvious right in the middle. The youngest child is totally focused on what he can do with that shovel in that bucket, with that sand. And the second oldest child, who's sitting beside him, uh, is interested in playing with him and is as much interested in how he's playing. So he's interested in much more. He's interested in people. And then in the, on the other side of him, in the back, is Matthew. And Matthew is an older child and he is interested in his world, around what's around him. And so he's pointing to something that he sees that's of interest off in the horizon behind him. He is surprised and, uh, well, we're not sure exactly what he's thinking, but we do know that his interest is in the direction that he's pointing and looking. But the painting continues. Because if you notice right behind the three boys, there is a passage of water. And that water is a symbol of the passages that we go through in generations in life. All three of those boys are in one generation. On the other side of the boy of the uh, of that body of water might be other generations. And if you look in the left side of the picture, near the horizon, there are many people. And they are adults. They are not children. Those people are intended to be the generations that are have given birth, if you will, or the generations before these children. And behind them are more generations, and behind them are more generations. And if your eye looks over in the space uh, between the boy on the left and the boy in the middle, you'll see way off in the distance with the water just above them, there are more and more and more people. And the people continue off to the right of the, of the painting and they disappear in the horizon. As far as you can see, there are generations of people that lead up to these three boys that we have in the front of the painting. And so the meaning of this is that as we go through life, we, on the one hand, we are always more interested in what's close to us, what's in front of us. And as we get older in life, we are, our interest expands to what's around us, what's perhaps on the other side of the world. 
on the other side of the horizon. And that is what Matthew is pointing to. He's pointing to the horizon and the people on the horizon. And so the painting kind of goes around the world as it must with the generation that is today's generation and all of those generations which are beyond counting that go all the way to the horizon and over the horizon. The point is there is another body of water out there and on the other side of that body of water there are more people that you cannot see. We have we have, might have seen the pattern here but those other people are on the other side of the water and they are not in our memories they are in our discovering science discovers those other people and what do we have in the forefront of this picture there's the youngest among us who's discovering we don't know what he's discovering in his sand pail with his sand shovel in the front of this picture. And that's the end of the story because there is no end to it. It just goes on and on. So what a wonderful story this was and I'm very proud and honored to be standing right in this place today and I am very proud of that. So boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching as always. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next video with more videos to come. Pleasure as always. Bye everyone. Thank you kindly.